Hi, Dr. Kelly here, and I'm back to talk about the sun. Super important. So the sun is very important to the whole process of healing. It is a piece that I was missing. So when I started teaching gut health and mental health and or mental wellness in 2016, I was all focused about the gut and healing the gut and the gut to heal the brain. And that's great. There were two pieces that I was missing. Ketosis, which we're not going to talk about in this video, but I will talk about it later. And the sunshine, using the sun, sunrise, sunset, as well as sun during the day. So we need all of the light, not just parts of it. Um, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, it's not medical advice, but in my opinion, sunrise is non-negotiable. So I have started, no matter where I am or what is happening, or this puppy that is sleeping really sweetly right here, this puppy that gets me up in the middle of the night, doesn't matter. I'm still up getting sunrise in naked eyes. So I get up, I face east with naked eyes. Don't stare into the sun, especially if you're not hydrated and your food isn't quite right. Don't do that. Just stare kind of off, but make sure that you're outside for that full spectrum of light in the sunrise. Really helpful if you can also be outside even for a little bit during sunset and then popping outside to get some of the daylight and vitamin D if you can. So during the summer months, we are designed as humans to, to get all of our vitamin D when it's available during the summer. So some of us are really lucky in that we live in that. We live in places where you can get vitamin D all year round. But if you can't, then there are ways for you to work on that and start thinking about working on it in the summer or when the vitamin D is available in your area. So I want to just share my screen really quickly. I can't tell you how important the sunrise is, but also vitamin D. So most of my clients are deficient in vitamin D. Lots of us are. I was deficient in vitamin D too. So before I figured this all out. Um, so there is some debate. Is vitamin D a vitamin or is it a hormone? It doesn't really matter to me. It's both. So it's one of our fat soluble um, vitamins, A, D, E, and K are all fat soluble. So you've got to make sure that you're getting good fat so that you can utilize the vitamin D that you do have. Um, it's a master hormone. So it really is important to get enough vitamin D. The therapeutic range, and this is my opinion in my work, you can look it up. You can talk to your physician, your doctor, whoever you see, naturopath, about what they believe is the therapeutic minimum range. But since most of my clients are deficient, I start with trying to get at least 50. So we're just trying to get in that 50, 80 range. Really, I want that to be higher, but we're just trying to get it up there. So there are ways that you can biohack that. You can take a supplement. You can take a D3 supplement. You can get a Spurdy D lamp, which is a lamp you know, a light lamp that you sit with and um, to get your vitamin D. The best way to get your vitamin D is the sun. So naked sit, naked skin in the sun when you can get those ultraviolet rays. So, um, and I just learned more about ultraviolet um, A, which is really helpful in mental health. So figuring out when you can get that, that ultraviolet A, but then the ultraviolet B, so when ultraviolet B light is available outside is when we can get vitamin D. So you're not going to get vitamin D first thing in the morning and sunrise. You don't need to worry about burning or any of that at sunrise and sunset. You're going to be concerned more about when to be outside and for how long so you can get your vitamin D without burning. So I'm going to talk about the D-Minder app. This is what I use. So it's a free app on your phone, if you, um, yeah, if you have an iPhone, I guess it is for Android too, right? So D minder, like reminder only it's a D and it pull it, when you pull it up, you can put in your location. So I save different places that I visit. So if I'm somewhere, like if I'm visiting my son in Boulder, Colorado, I have Boulder saved in there so I can figure out when I need to get up to see sunrise 
So it'll tell me the sunrise here, and then it will tell me the sunset time. I don't remember which day this is, but this is my window here where I live in Florida to get vitamin D. And it tells me this four, four hours and 20 something minutes of when I could get my vitamin D. And this is my D level that I've been working on. So when I, um, when you pull it up, this is when you first pull it up, it'll have all that. In the middle of the day, I can pull it up. It looks like this. And I can hit this button here that says start sun exposure. And you put in your skin tone, where you live, all of that information. And then it'll pull that goes to this when you hit start sun session, really easy to say, start sun session. Then it'll pull up, where's my thing? Like this. So it tells me that given my skin tone and how much D I have and all of where I am in my, the UVB, how long I can stay out there is about 50 minutes per side. And it'll even tell you when to turn over. So if you are out walking or golfing or playing tennis or something, you're obviously not going to turn over, but this can help you see what time of day you could get your vitamin D and how long you want to be out there so you don't burn. You can put in overcast and how much skin is exposed. I'm out there in the smallest bikini I can be in. So unless it's windy or something, I, so I try to get at least 80% of my skin. I would be out there naked, but my neighbors, you know, so, and then it will give you an estimate of about how much um, vitamin D that you are getting. So I love the DMinder app. I think it's super helpful and figuring out sunrise, sunset, and also when to get your vitamin D. So I cannot stress how important this is to the overall healing of your mental health, your overall well-being. Couple things, make sure you're hydrated. So make sure that you're hydrating for your needs. If you take your body weight, current body weight, divide it in half, that's about the minimum number of ounces that you need a day. Depends on if you're drinking caffeine or other things, or you're exercising a lot, or you're outside, you may need more. So you want to get your water, your electrolytes, your minerals need to be balanced. And then you want to also work on your food. So if you can, if you're not allergic to fish, and even if you are allergic, I have allergic um, reactions that are healing by being in the sun. So sun and ketosis, but the sun is actually helping with my histamine reactions. But if you can eat um, seafood, then seafood is full of DHA. The DHA is needed. It's in the, the majority of DHA in the body is stored in the retina of the eye. So we need that. So we need to be hydrated and we need plenty of DHA in our system for the sun to be able to do all of what it can do at sunrise and sunset. And the sun red light is, is available throughout the day. So getting that, um, all of that light. So get your food right and get yourself hydrated, get your minerals. Um, so it's more than two things, three things. Okay. And then make sure it's non-negotiable to get up for sunrise. I don't, it does not matter how long you stay, the longer, the better, obviously, but if you can only pop out there for a couple of minutes, that's what you do. If you can stay for 10 minutes, stay for 10 minutes. If you can stay out for an hour, if you can time your walk that you're going to do your walk during sunrise, perfect. But just do what you have to do. If you're driving kids to school, roll down the window, put the, do what you can do. Because a lot of people will say to me, oh, but I'm, you know, I'm right next to a window. Mm -mm. Any modern windows now are going to block the light that you need. So you actually want to be outside. Um, I won't go into the whole grounding piece, which is another piece that will help with mental health, but let's just start with sun. So get out there and get your sunrise. If you can get your sunset and work on your vitamin D, it's super important.